Welcome, friends, it is I, Earthless Scarf, and it's time for the One Shot Saturday, but it's a reload this time. We are revisiting FTL. FTL is one of the first games we put on the channel, and I have loved this game for years. This is a very fun roguelike in space. You can look at our old videos if you want to see what we did with it then. And they've made an advanced edition content to the game recently, and it is awesome. It has made the game just so much better. That's what's so great about this game. And what's, th what's really nice about it is, you can disable it. Bam, right there. You can play the original, or you can play with the advanced stuff. I mean, with the new stuff, which is new systems, new weapons, a new race, and more ships. This is awesome here. Check this out. You got you got your first ships here. You got all these. Like, you start out with, like, just the Kestro, and then you eventually unlock all these other ships. And you unlock Type Bs of them. They've added a Type C, everybody. That's right, a Type C sh for every ship. That is awesome right there. That is too cool for school. They have also, of course, added the new alien race and they have a new ship for it. And I think this is like the hidden ship I never was able to get. Let's see, there's eight, nine. Yeah, this is the ship I never had to get. Same thing the mana ship. I still don't know how to get those. But this game is awesome. And they also show you the quest for each one. That's cool right there. Oh my god. Yes, that is awesome there. And we're going to play the new ship. The Lanius Cruiser. And this is the new uh, race. Lanius. These... Anaerobic beings seem friendly enough. Drains oxygen from rooms, slow movement, but no damage from lack of oxygen. That's really cool there. And here's one of the new systems, the cloner. So this right here is uh, when a crewman dies, they come back. They come back to life, people. They come back to life, but they have less of their skill points. So that's something right there. Also, here's the hacking machine, which can be used to disable an enemy system. It's so cool. It's really nice there. And we see this emergency respirators, which is you take half damage when there's low oxygen. And let's see, ion stunner is... It stuns the crew inside. Wow, that's a new weapon. That's cool. And we got the chain laser. This is very cool. So, oh my god, really? A dual shot laser decreases in cooldown the more it fires. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge. This is really cool. Look at this. 60 seconds to charge, but fast charge... You can charge up to seven shots in this gun. Oh my god, I want to see this in action. I can't wait. Let's check this out. Oh my god, we're checking this out. Here we go. Alright, okay, so there's a lot of reading in this game, and I want to. I just want to show off how cool this game is, so I'm not going to do too many uh, readings, so I'm just going to take a moment for you to read it yourself if you want to read it. But basically what happened is you're a part of the Federation, and the Rebels have struck, and they have an overwhelming fo force, and they're... Um, they're beating everyone up. You have, import, you have important information about the enemy flagship, and you're trying to fly your ass all the way from one side to the other of the game to tell and then have a final battle. So here we are. We got these guys. We got Scoops, Boovy, and Maxim right here. And here's a cool thing. Okay, for you people who've played it before, here's some things that have been updated here. Now when you're at a subsystem, it upgrades it temporarily while, you, while it's manned, which means cameras are level 2 once when it's manned, Doors level two under man. That's really cool. Like, look, check it out. Here we go. Go over here, and now the doors are level two. And that's something. Also, the cameras. Cameras level two. That's really cool there. This is an interesting race that you can't have them near your teammates because, well, they'll suffocate them. But what's cool is, of course, you can fight with these guys, and well, they'll suffocate the enemy. So that's cool there. We got a ship here showing off the game for those who've never seen this before. So you have your ship. You have all these systems you can upgrade. You get scrap to do these upgrades. You get scrap from fights and missions and stuff like that. And you need power to power your stuff up. So as you can see right here, we got, um... Oh, we need one extra energy, so we need two, 20 scrap. We only have 10 scrap right now. And then we can be able to afford all these things. So here's a hacker thing. We'll try that eventually. Disable the, um, cloner for now, because we don't need that. We got the John Str Stunner. The, I think it's Ion Stunner. Why did I say John? Let's go to that star right there. All right, let's get going here. And we're going to go into Nebula. Let's check out the Nebula here. And here we go. Let's see what's in the nebula, and oh, trade one energy for, I think, for four missiles? We don't really need missiles, but that's a good trade, so we'll get that. Alright, so we're just flying around right now, so what's randomly generated is just the map and what's at these places. So let's go over here. Here's a nice touch is where we go, it shows you where it will go next, so you can map out how you're going to get to the exit. So that's really cool there. Go this way. So we're going over here now, and we are... Alright! So we're, we're fighting some pirates here. So here we go. Some pirates are attacking us. We're going to use our hacker 
to disable the enemy gun. Seems pretty straightforward to do that. Bam! Guns are now disabled. Well, we can see the enemy guns here. Looks like they're not disabled, balls. Oh, now we can stun the crew, so let's try out what this does. Oh, I hit the shield, so we can stun the crew there. So there you go. Well, now that place is on fire, that enemy's hurt. Oh, crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this guy's beat up already. We don't have a healing bay? Oh, snap. We don't have a healing bay on this one. Oh, damn. Um, you, you repair it. You repair that. You repair that. Oh, my God. Wow. We don't have a med bay. Oh, that's what this cloner's for. Oh, I get it now. So if this guy dies, all right, he'll just come back fully healed from the med bay. Oh, that's cool. Um, from the from the clone bay. Oh, that's fine then. That's fine. So he's going to die and come back. He hasn't upgraded at all, so... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, I almost forgot to do that. Ish. I had the enemy, um, I had the enemy, what do you call it? Uh, I, I mean, I had a cloner disabled, so this guy almost died because he wasn't getting cloned. So there we go, he's cloned again. And there we go. And this, this guy can keep putting out the fires for now. And, oh, I need to put power back into the oxygen. Well, Jesus Christ. All right, um, there we go. Power back in the oxygen. Wow, this is more complicated. This is way more complicated. Okay. The enemies want to surrender, and because they're burning to death, I say no. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna try to kill them so I can salvage their ship. So right now they're just getting effed up. So there we go. All right. So go ahead and just die repairing the ship. I guess there we go. That guy's gonna die and he's gonna come back to life. The disadvantage, of course, of them dying is they lose their skill points, but they don't have any skill points this early, so it's fine. So they're getting cloned now. There's this guy who's, uh, well, they're gonna suffocate. Yeah, they're suffocating right now. Once they die, we're gonna salvage the ship. And they're dead! So we salvage the ship, and we got less from it. How do you get less? How do you get less from that? Alright, well, let's go over here. So they're all cloned up. There we go. And we heal every time we jump. That's an interesting th step there. I'd rather have an actual med bay, though, but... Eh. Disable the cloner for now. Uh, we got enough scrap, actually, to get energy, so now we can actually have the cloner now. That's cool there. Dang, this ship is complicated. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and there's a store there. We don't need a store. Oh, you will see a store when we get there. This game is very difficult. Uh, having to manage so many things at once. You can pause using... Let me see something. Offer to help. Yeah, okay, we're going to help them out. So you can pause with space bar so you can tell your guys to go where, where, and then un unpause, which is pretty useful there. Also pause to tell where your things are there. Something for people who played the game before. You can now save your person's station. So you can move them to whatever place. You can move this guy over here. I move these guys over here. And you go, you know what, guys? Go back to your stations. Bam. And they go back to their stations. That is so cool. That is really nice. That's a nice touch there. There's hotkeys for just everything. There's hotkeys for your doors. You can open them up. You can close them. That was probably a mistake to do that. <laughs> but there you go. So you can just do stuff like that. There's a hotkey for your people. F1 through whatever number. I think that's been there before. But it's been a while since I played FTL. That's just nice. That's just nice right there. Let's go ahead and go over here. We don't need to go to the exit just yet. You want to farm up as much as you can as you go, because the game gets harder per place. Um, let's fight these mercenaries here. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to just shoot my chain gun at this thing to disable... Oh wait, I can disable their weapons. Here we go. Disable their weapons with the hack. Uh, it looks like they shot down my hacking machine. Let's try that again. There you go, now their weapons are hacked. So there we go. So what happens is... Oh, you have to click it. I disabled their weapons. Isn't that cool? I disabled their weapons. You can only do it for so long, though. But now that their weapons are disabled, we can shoot them. Ah, uh, that guy's stunned. That's good. My understanding is every time we use this, it, it shoots more weapons? Oh, every time you shoot, it shoots more. That is cool. Oh, that's cool for school right there. Uh, how about uh, when you guys repair that? There you go. There you go. Stone him again. And shoot this again. There we go. Now it's plus three, which means... Oh, that's how it works. All right, okay. So shots per charge. You shoot two shots per charge. And it has a quicker cooldown every time you use it. There we go. Go back over there. So they're burning down right now. They're really in trouble. Yeah, their weapons are down. They're burning up. And the best way to get value is to have your enemies get killed by, uh, if the, if the, if the people in the ship die, then you can salvage their ship for better stuff, basically. Let's disable these guys so they can't put out the fire. There we go, they're knocked out. Oh, no, they're not. I didn't, the shield got in the way, my bad. 
Oh, they're gonna FTL out? Well, we're not gonna let that happen now, are we? Stun them. Well, fail to stun. Keep shooting. And they're dead! So now we get to take their stuff, and we get good stuff. You're supposed to get better, um... The ship blew up because of the fires. You're supposed to get better loot if you kill if you kill the crew and not the ship itself. Oh, distress beacons. Let's go over there. As you saw, there's enemy creeping from the left. I'll explain that more soon. Alright. Um, send my crew to put out the fire. Bovi died! Ah! Well, he's cloned back, so here he is. So Bovi died in uh, putting out this fire on the ship. Whoops. Oh, he's back now. Still under no distress. As you can see, these are the rebels coming over. If they catch up to us, it's a really, really hard fight. So we don't want the rebels to catch up to us, but we want to farm as much as we can. So this refugee ship, and we're going to go investigate it. And intruders on board. That's that's just awesome. Luckily, the enemies are suffocating because, well, Bovi making them suffocate. We'll have uh, Scoops help out as well. The enemy's suffocating because, well, there's no air in there. So now they've died. Well done. That's already done. There we go. Let's go over here now. And we're looking pretty good here. Oh, also, they've updated the music this game. You see, this music is amazing already. This is old music. There's going to be new music as we play. And it all sounds so awesome. They just updated music and it's just great music. Alright, let's go ahead and disable their weapons again. It's hard not to just disable the enemy weapons. It's just too easy to do it. There you go. So there we go. Just, we're going to put auto fire on the chain gun so it just keeps shooting. And then stun the enemy crew. There you go. Enemy crew stunned. And we're going to keep disabling those weapons every chance we can. You see, the enemy's trying to fight their way in to... Oh, there we go. They surrendered, and I think I can get more loot out of them, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna accept that surrender. I'm gonna keep shooting them. There we go. So, there we go. Two more shots, and the enemies are done. They're now stuck in there, by the way. And now they've all died, so we, uh, we scrapped it, and I accidentally clicked on button, so I didn't get to see what got scrapped. But there we go. We salvaged the ship. There we go. And we should go... Either one's fine, so we'll go here then. Alright, we're looking really good right now. And there we go. We have a hacking system so we can hack this machine ship. And there, we completely skipped the enemy ship. We just hacked it. Done. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? We just hacked the ship. But it uh, looks like we failed to hack the ship. Or you know what? I wasn't actually reading. What did I do? What did I do to this ship? I don't even know what I did, but its weapons are disabled. Or did I fail to hack? I think I failed to hack, didn't I? I'm gonna say I have failed to hack, didn't I? Yeah, I failed to hack. Go and do this. Keep shooting that thing. I wanna see why I failed hacking. That's why, uh, what's going on is happening. And I thought I hacked the ship because I thought my ship was badass. Whoops! I think I'll be clicking a little too fast and not reading enough, especially because they've added some things. Like, hacking is new. Hacking's new, the cloner's new. That's all new stuff, so I should probably read a little bit more. <laughs> okay, these guys taking a while to repair it. There's repair. There we go. Moving back out there. Let's go. Let's go here. All right, here we go. Oh crap. Okay, here's an interesting place. So in the background, meteorites are going to be hit meteors going to be hitting the ships. Asteroids are going to be hitting the ships, <laughs> and they do damage to your shields and stuff. So you want to not get killed by that, but it's hard not to be. I'm going to disable their shields so they can take hits. Disable the shields. There we go. So now we're auto-firing on their guns there. There we go. Now this guy's stuck in here so he can't go repair his ship, so that's awesome. Oh, it took a hit there. Our weapons are down, so we lost our stunner right now. See, we lost some energy from a hit to the weapons, so now they got to repair it before we can use that weapon again. And it is repaired! So now we can use the weapon again. There we go. Disable the shields. There we go. This ship's screwed. That's just gonna be destroyed soon enough. There we go. Yeah, it's getting destroyed. This hacking thing's pretty cool. I like it. Alright, they're trying to escape with the FTL drive. We're gonna destroy them before they get away, though. It's done. Yeah, they're dead. One more shot does it, and down they go! Lamb. Now we're fine on things. So I want to look at the gun really quick. Oh, I can't right now. You can't look at your ship info when you're under danger. Let's go ahead and get to the exit. 
So now we've arrived at the beacon. Alright, what is it? Uh... Oh, okay. They'll upgrade my, si my sensor systems. That's cool. How much would that have cost? I'm not sure anymore. But now we can see enemy enemies, uh, enemy power use, super blasters. Oh, so if you have it manned, it goes even higher. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice change as well. So it used to be these only go up three levels, but now they go up a fourth level if you have it manned. That's really cool for these subsystems. Except for the pilot. Right, let's see here. Okay, let's keep going again. And we're jumping out of here. If we stay, we'll be attacked. So now, here's the next thing. Oh my god. Hostiles or nebulas? Nebulas are really hard to deal with, so we're going through hostile territory here. And basically, we're going to get attacked more often in a hostile area. So, whoa, damn. We're in rebel territory. Let's go to distress beacon. Hopefully, it's uh, actual distress. It could be a trap. And, no, these guys are asking for help, so we give them some fuel. There we go. And they give us scrap. There we go. And moving on. I would like to take advantage of these nebulas, but I don't... This ship might die if I go through nebulas. So I'm just going to keep flying here. So we got some stuff on that one. And we're just flying through here. All right, now we're fighting a rebel ship here. Oh, if they get the if they FDL out, um, they'll be able to warn the enemy rebels, and then we'll be in trouble. So we're gonna disable their engines. That is the only choice we have is disable the enemy engines. So disable that, please. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and shoot the crap out of their weapon system. But we're getting shot. Our cameras are down, so I'm gonna go. Re I don't need to repair my cameras that badly, so we can repair it later. So we're gonna just keep disabling their uh, engines every chance we get. Which is going to be a little while, crud. Oh, their guns are disabled, so now we can just go ahead and disable their engines here. Hack their engines again, so now they can't fly. With their engines disabled, they can't dodge, which is awesome. There we go. Now they're fully hacked there. They're going to die soon. Yep, two more shots and they're dead. Looking pretty good right now. Oh, our O2 is disabled. Well, I should go repair that. <laughs> Before this guy dies. There you go. One more shot should do it. Oh, dang, we got hit in the shields. Oh, we got hit all over the place. I need repairs. Making repairs. Now OT's repaired. There we go. Now, if you could have a purely this sh these guys ship, then you'd be fine about oxygen. You wouldn't need the O2, but because we have one human on the ship, we need to worry about that. Looking all right here. We don't actually need a guy. We should have a guy re repairing the shields more often. There we go. I should explain more about this game. So there's a bunch of races in the game. You have humans, mantis, rockmen, uh, NGs. NGs are like tech, uh, tech beings. Uh, slugs, crystal people, and uh, I think that's everyone. And they all have different stats to them. Like the humans have no special stats, but these guys, of course, you saw they have. They take oxygen out of the room. But they can ignore a room without oxygen, so that helps them out. Rock guys have more HP, but they're slower, and they uh, I think they they can ignore fire. Mantis attack twice as hard as other races. They have less HP though, but they're really fast, and they also repair very slow. Uh, let's see. Engineers have NGs have the ability to repair faster, and I think they can ignore oxygen. I don't remember. No, they can't ignore. Oxygen. They they need oxygen, and then oh, there's the the Zoltan. The Zoltan are energy people, so they add one energy to a system when they're in it, which is really cool. Go ahead and go this way. We're pretty beat up. We need to find a store to repair our ship. But for now, let's hack this thing and disable its shields. Disable the shields, thank you. Now let's just EMP its shields if it keeps using them. There we go. So we're good right now. We're just going to blast the crap out of this thing. Once we take out the guns, it's fine. There we go. Alright, we took out one gun, we gotta take out another one. This chain gun's very interesting how it warms up. With consecutive shots it does more. I thought it was the uh, the charge shot. So there's a new weapon here, called the charge shot, that I don't have yet. Where as it fills up, it charges up again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Until you fire them all out, which is really cool. There's a large cha uh, charge laser. It puts up to four blasts, and then you you can choose to shoot it early for three or less. Which is really cool there. And then bam, you just hit them with a bunch of shots. It's a really nice weapon. Right now, we just keep shooting them right now. 
And this ship's going down. It's done. As soon, soon as we actually get the last shot into this thing. Gonna disable it for the chain. There we go. Dang it, I'm failing these shots right now. Come on, chain shot. There we go. One more should do it, hopefully. Come on, take it out, take it out. And... Done! There, that ship's dead. And we got some salvage. There we go. There's a store, thank you. We need to heal. Need to repair at this store. So there you go, it's a store, and we can buy repairs here, so we're gonna go ahead and go full repair. A chain ion. Oh, here we go, I can show off a chain here, but I don't know if- I can't really use it. I need more. So here's the new system is mind control. You can control an enemy on the other ship and have them fight for you for a little while. That's really cool there. We got cloaking, drone control, we can buy more engines, tech, and uh, uh, missiles and drone parts. And here's the cool thing is this, some stores have two pages now, so you can actually get everything you want, sort of. Their systems, weapons, higher crew, and augmentation. So... Ooh, I can stun people in the hack. I can scramble the enemy's defenses. I can also get uh, charges so I can do my FDL sooner. Less useful. Here, there's another nice thing about hiring crew in this game now is they can come with crew stats, which is really cool. And just to show off, here's the stats you can have is... There you go. Uh, as you level up your characters through uh, playing with your crew while they're doing their spots, they'll get better at whatever they're doing so they can have better repairing or fighting or shooting or shields. Piloting and evade and um, engines for evasion. So that's those are the bonuses you can have. I don't need any more. Oh, I could use one more crew. But then again, I might find some on the way, so I don't really want to buy them. And this chain I can't afford right now, so we'll wait for that for now. And we're good right now, so we'll just save up and oh, uh, we, we should actually put up an upgrade. So we're gonna upgrade our ship's shields. So we upgrade the shields. You need every two gives you a new barrier to your shields. It needs power, so we gotta buy two power. So there we go. So now our shields are even better. Let's move on. Let's go up that way. So moving on up. Moving on up. There we go. So do we want to download it? Data stores or strip it? Um, we don't really need data stores, so we can strip it. Now right, moving on, because we're in, we're already halfway through this area. We don't need its data. What the data store is? It tells you what's at all these places, whether it's an enemy ship there or or a store or a distress signal. It'll tell you. But we don't even need to know that, because we're kind of already halfway through this area. Oh, this place is bad. And there's intruders on board. Crap. All right. Pause. Okay, where are they? Oh, they'll suffocate. It's fine. So what's going to happen here is, yeah, because we're near a sun, well, star, on occasion, it will light the ship on fire, which is very bad, obviously. Ah, uh, Bovey's going to die. Bovey's dead. Oh, they're not dead yet. Well, wow. and we need that FTL to charge it before we get killed at this point. Like, on occasion, uh, a fire will break out on your ship when you're near a star. Luckily, one didn't break out this time. I'm gonna go into the nebula because we're crazy. See, solar flare almost got us. So now we're in the nebula where cameras don't do jack. And let's keep going to nebula. The thing about nebulas, though, is it keeps your enemy movement slower because they're looking for you. And they can't see you in the nebula. And we didn't find jack in that nebula. And we're low on engines, so we have to do something about that. Alright, so our enemy has a drone system. What kind of is that? They have... That's a laser, and then that's... And that's... Okay, that's a beam, and that's a burst laser. Okay, so we just disable that laser, we'll never die. Because beams can't pierce shields. So we go ahead and hack that. And then we just shoot the ever-loving crap out of its shielding. Yeah, should be fine. There we go. Uh, we should be good. Just gotta disable the laser. It's not charged up yet. Once it's charged up, I'll do it. Now it's not charged up! Ah! <laughs> Takes up that. Come on. Take your shot. There we go. Bam, there we go. Oh, another new thing that's cool uh, for you who played it before is they have this little blue bar now to know how long to your shields refill. So that's really cool. That's gonna hit. But we still have another shield, so it's not yeah, we're guaranteed not to lose this fight. We're guaranteed not to lose it. We're just gonna keep hitting them until they die. Because it only does one damage, we have two shields, so it'd have to do uh, enough damage to take out two shields. I mean, one shot. So we're just in a good position. We're going to win this, guaranteed. Nothing wrong. Bam, done. So we're doing really well right now. We're getting really lucky here. And um, moving on. So uh, we got to go here and then go up there. Okay, so we're going to go here. Yeah, we're going to go here. Wait, wait. Yeah, we're going here. 
I want to see if I can get some more usage out of this area, but nope. So there we go. So rebels are attacking an outpost, so let's intervene. It's a refueling outpost, so if we win this fight, we'll get fuel. So intervene. There we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, a guy attacking. That guy's going to die, by the way. Um, Let's go ahead and hack their weapons, as always, because hacking weapons is very useful. And we'll just shoot their shields. And their weapon's not going to be used. There we go. And this guy's still alive. Wow. Having no oxygen in there makes him really hard to kill. <laughs> their shield's disabled. Keep their shields down as long as they... Oh, he died. Crap. Well, he's going to get respawned in a second. Looks like they disabled our weapons. That's not a good sign there. Keep trying to EMP them. Oh, they hit my hack. Oh, crud. Let's go ahead and go in there. Okay, guy, go repair that. I gotta put a new hacker down. Crud. At least their shields are disabled. I just need a chance to shoot them. Oh, man, they're really killing my weapons here. Jeez. I need to hack him again. Hacking. There we go. Weapons are down again. Oh, well, stun's not gonna do anything. Shoot. I'm in a bad spot now. I'm not just fighting this. Yeesh. Can't hack for a while. Oh, they bombed that. That guy's disabled at least. Come on. Chain gun. Chain laser's almost ready. Alright, chain laser is now ready. Now let's take some shots soon. Hopefully. That's good. Let's get back to shield there. Shield repair. Ah, down goes our engines, which means we have no dodge right now. So everything's guaranteed to hit. Not a good spot to be in. Keep disabling their weapons there and their shields. Want to slowly work them down if possible. Oh great, oxygen's gone, which is going to kill our human. Oh, shield's not that important. Let's go hit their weapons for crap sakes. What's wrong with me? Let's go ahead and repair the oxygen now. Just keep disabling the... There we go. Their weapons are down, so now they're kind of perma-screwed right there without the weapons. And because we have our hack right there, they can't even get in to repair the room, so that's even more awesome. There we go. Things are looking pretty good right now. Let's head back in the shields. Now their shields are down. Go over here. Gonna disable their weapons even after they repair it. So I'm in a good spot here. One more shot to win this. Just looking good here. Just looking good. And done! There we go. Another fight has been won. And there's the refuel and some scrap. There we go. Now, um... So we could hack longer if we uh, put this up. Well, for now, though, uh, what do I really need? I don't need a cloner right now. Shields are pretty good. We don't need weapons yet. You know, let's just put up the hack, I guess. Um... Yeah, longer hack sounds cool. Let's try a longer hack. Let's see how that works out. Take advantage of the new stuff. Let's get to that exit. And get the fudge out! Now, let's get out of here. Uh, 200... No, we don't... Um, yeah, we may as well. We do use those, so let's get going here. We do use that hack. Okay, so Mantis or Mantis? <laughs> Go to Mantis, then. There we go. Alright, so now we're in Mantis territory, which is hyper-aggressive aliens, so we'll be in trouble here. Mantis just like to attack the crap out of you, so we're probably going to get attacked pretty bad here. Keep going here. Distress signal, here we go. Alright, so there's giant alien spiders. It's fine if we lose somebody, so let's try to help. And we won! We beat the aliens, and we, we, got, we beat the spiders, and so we got stuff for so that's cool. Go over here. Oh crap, solar flares. Not the good kind either. Alright, let's see here. Um, they have a cloner, so we can't kill anybody. It doesn't matter. And they're teleporting in the Mantis to disable our cameras, which isn't all that important, so it's fine with me. Let's go ahead and hack their weapons again. And then shoot... Um, also shoot the crap out of their weapons, because of course. And disable them. There we go. Now they can't shoot us. Losing our cameras isn't that important, but let's go fight that guy anyway. Let's get him to stop killing our dang camera. There we go. And he'll eventually run out of oxygen. Right now we're shooting their weapons and bringing that down. And our guy's dying right now. Bovey's gonna die from all that. Yeah, Bovey's gonna die. Bovey's dead. 
Crap, solar flare fires. Oh, damn. We need Bobo to respawn. Let's go get that guy with him now. Oh, he got teleported back out. So they teleported him and they teleported him out. So now we're just disabling and pretty much killing our enemy right now. They're placed on fire. They don't have any O2. Yeah, they're in trouble. They're in heat. Yeah, they're done. We won. There we go. Oh, shoot. The fire got into the, the cockpit. So there we go. Solar, another solar flare. Bad sign there. We got to get out of here. Too late. Oh, I burned the cloner. If anyone dies right now, we're screwed. Don't die while repairing that or else we'd lose this thing. Oh, that is a very bad sign. We're going to let that, we're going to let that get, uh, there we go. So the fire got put out by a lack of oxygen. I forgot we can do that. That's something cool is you can take out the oxygen in a room to put out fires and kill people. Unfortunately for our crewman right here, this fire is just bleeding in right now. We're in, yeah, we're jumping. We're jumping to a store. Because holy crap. Okay, there we go. Jump was a good plan. So now while we're at the store, we can make repairs. Oh dear god, our people are dead. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna lose all my crew right now. They're all gonna die and come back with less stats. Okay, okay, nobody died. Wow. I stand corrected. And, okay, repair that. He's really low, though. Our cockpit's low. And everyone back to their station. Oh, you can go back to uh, shields. There we go. New save. There we go. All right, we're at a place we should make repairs. Store, okay, we should make some repairs here, fix all. Drone control, med bay, that's what I want, a med bay. Uh, do I really want a med bay, though, when you think about it? Uh, so, no. Other page, I don't really have any of that. Um, I want a med bay that bad? At least my, my med won't, well, I do have a cloner, I guess. Although a med bay is useful as hell. Keeps your men from, you know, being dead. Hmm. Yeah, let's go without the med bay. We may as well. Let's keep trying to use this alien ship. And moving on. Let's go over here. Although our men are really low. When they get invaded, they'll die. Okay, now we're fighting another rebel ship here. They don't have teleporters, so we don't have to worry about that. They do have a lot of shields, though, so we're going to have to disable those with a cloner. I mean, with a hacker. Cloner. Disable their shields. There we go. Enemy shields disabled. Now let's take the shot at it. And bam! Did some damage to their weapons. Yeah, five bars of shields. That's going to take a while to disable. We can only do it for so long, too. It's interesting having that clone bay. Because that used to... That's not in the original. So, when you lost a person, you lost a person. And there's... Not every ship has a clone bay, either. So you still lose people. That's such a cool idea. Disable the shields again. There we go. Yeah, they're weapons some more. You can always take off auto fire and decide when you want to take your shots too. That's always an option. Doing some good damage there though. I like how the ion stoner stuns people. That's cool. We're just slowly taking out their shields now. At least those weapons have been down for a good amount. Okay, right when the next shot comes, we're gonna do this. There you go, doing it. Now their shields should be down. There we go. Shields down. There, hit him again. That guy's gonna die. He gets hit one more time. Hopefully we hit him one more time. He's dead. There we go. That helps. So their shields are down. No one's gonna repair it. So let's go ahead and hit their shields instead of their weapons. There you go. And now they want to surrender. But they're rebel scum. So no, you don't get to surrender. We're gonna keep shooting at you. I gotta keep shooting at him. There we go. Disable the shield so we can just kill him some more. There we go. One's trying to break in. One's trying to break out. That's funny. And well, they're gonna die. They're gonna die. One more shot. We'll do it. And we win. We are victorious. Those guys all die. And what do we salvage? Oh, we salvage some good stuff there. Check out the distress beacon. Distress bacon. Well, almost at the distress bacon, I mean. Intruders on board. Well, that's just peachy. Oh, they're oh, if they kill the cloner, we're screwed. We can't allow them to kill the cloner, obviously. And let's take away their oxygen. Our guys are really low on HP, though. I don't know if you can clone two guys or not. 
I should pro- Oh. Okay, they do clone in time. Okay. What's important is the only- Okay, you know what? Actually, we're good. Open all doors. Suffocate them out. It's fine. We'll suffocate the mantis because we can just clone our guys. So that's fine. He dies, but he's going to be respawned. So there we go. So luckily, we have that cloning device. So we can just... What I just did. Suffocate the entire ship and then... Uh, we should probably not bring him back right now. <laughs> oh, that guy's going to die when he comes back because the oxygen ain't going to fill up that quick. Everyone go back to their spaces. So yeah, you see, they lost some of their stats. Like, it's really hard to keep stats, it looks like, because when you die, you lose your stats, so... Crap! But everyone's good again, so get moving. And oxygen doesn't mean that much, so here you go. Just for Maxim. Don't be a baby, Maxim. Alright, so there's, uh... So there's pirates stuck. Do we want to try to save the pirates, or just shoot them? Just shoot them! And another pirate ship shows up, so there we go. Let's go ahead and shoot. Oh my god, they have level 3 shields. That's pretty good, so we gotta hack those shields and bring it down. Those shields are gonna be really hard to... We don't have enough damage to pierce their shields, so we have to do that. We gotta repair that. So we have to disable their shields and then shoot them whenever possible. That's gonna be hard to do. Right now, we can't actually do damage, because we only break two shields. We have to hit them when the shields are down. But we want to also have our chain running, so... Oh, we're out of evasion now, so we gotta go repair that. So go repair that. Oh man, we're getting hit. Oh, they're just beating the crap out of us right now. There we go, disabling now. Run! Oh, they're just beating the crap out of my ship here. I'm getting hit with missiles here, crud. There we go, now they're burning up a little bit, that's good. So there you go. The enemy's on fire, which really helps. There you go. That's been repaired. Now that's getting repaired. The engines have been repaired. Now the shields are now repaired, so that's good. Now, I'm going to disable their shields again so we can F up that dang gunning. Now, do it, do it, do it. Disable shields. Ah, oh, man. We keep missing the shots, though. Oof. The shields have been disabled for a little bit, so we can do a damage, finally. And it just keeps charging up, which is good. Take out those dang guns already. Well, the guns are very badly disabled, so we don't have to worry about that. It's the shields that are in the way now. Oh, dear. We gotta disable the, sh the shields again. Wait for the opportunity, though. And should be now. There we go. Disabling shields. Ah, we got hit in the engine room again. Crap. Well, first we gotta take the fire out of there. Right now we have zero evasion because we don't have engines. Now you can repair it. Okay, we gotta disable these dang shields again. <laughs> this ship is interesting, but it's not easy to run it. Ah, ah, there goes our guns. Okay, now we're screwed. Now we're screwed. Uh-oh. They're battering us really good. We could just run away, but I don't wanna. I might have to. Oh, damn. Ah. I repair that. Missiles ignore shields. That's what sucks. Take out the damn... Oh, it resets our chain laser? Oh, you know, we're getting out of here. We're, we're getting beat up pretty bad here. We're gonna... We're gonna get the F out. We're just gonna get the F out of here. And go over here. And make some damn repairs, because we're... Well, we can't make repairs. Well, we, we can make minor repairs. We can't make hull repairs. Damn, we are effed right now. Repair that oxygen tank. Oosh. Alright, well, we're getting our butts kicked right now. That's not a good sign. If you want to see the full version of this game, you definitely should check out uh, the um, FTL LPs we did in the past. Those are still... They're basically the same game, except with all these extra bells and whistles that you're seeing right now. And this is just an awesome game. It really is. And I am trying oh so hard not to die horribly, but uh, we're in a better position here. We're going to win this fight for sure. They only have one shield. So let's go ahead and hack that shield. And... Wait for it. Do the next one. We'll hack it. Oh good, they launched a missile but missed. Okay, I mean, they launched a bomb but missed with it. Should really EMP this. There we go. Now disabling their shields. Perm sort of permanently right now. They can't do anything, so there we go. EMP their guns. And we just keep battering them down right now with the, with the auto shots. 
Oh, oh, they hit it. They, oh no. The EMP are a hacking device, so now we can't use it for a little bit. But we are beating the crap out of their guns. We're going to win this for sure, that's for sure. One more to do it. One more shot. We'll do it. And it is done. There we go. Ship down. All right. We're looking good here. Distress. Oh, we, should, we should probably re uh, upgrade something. What exactly, though? Let's upgrade this. Actually, we don't need to upgrade that. That was around thing. Let's upgrade... Not really shields. No, yeah, more evasion should help. So there we go. Now we have more evasion. So now shots have 15% chance of not hitting us, which is nice. Oh, great. Assault and shit. Okay, so this ship has a super shield, which means uh, we... I don't think we can hack. Yeah, we can't hack until that shield goes down. Crud! These guys are going to be a problem. We might have to escape this fight. So that super shield, yeah, out. We took a shot to the engines. We have to break the super shield before we can hack. You can't, you can't send missiles through it. You can't send anything. You have to take out the bigger shell first. That's what the green bar is. And once it's down, we can hack. Luckily, we do have double shields, so it's hard to get killed except for the missiles that are coming out. Ah, there goes our cloner. Oh no, there goes our cloner. We gotta go save our cloner. So uh, repair that guy before. Ah, oh, jeez. Before we die and then not clone. The stunner's back, so there we go. It's a stunner! Use the stunner! Oh, we took a hit there. We don't necessarily need to repair that right away. That's just oxygen there. Man. Oh, oh, there, there goes the there's it goes the cockpit. Oh, we're getting hit all over the place. Oh jeez. Oh, we're getting hit. That missile, if that hits in the wrong spot, and oh yeah, there goes that. Eesh! Alright, hack their dang shields, huh? There we go. We missed the shots, though. Okay, luckily that one missed as well. Oh, they're firing up their FTL drives to escape. Oh, we don't want to let them escape now, do we? Hit their engines, huh? There we go, hit the engines. We're safe for now. Luckily these guys can ignore those cracks, because, well, they don't need oxygen. There we go, engine delayed, that's good. Whew. Just don't let them be able to use it. There we go, looking really good there. Hey, he leveled up, nice. Because the double shots, he's leveling up so much. No, I'm killing them. There we go. I don't want their offer. There we go. Joiks? Oh, we are beat the hell up. Just gotta make repairs. Damn, we're beat up. Making repairs here. This is just an awesome game. I really enjoy this game. There's so much consideration and planning and clicking around to do on this game. And the variety of ships really helps out. There you go. Repairs made. Get back out there. Oh, I made a slight error, didn't I? Okay. Well, the Rebels are going to be here and we're going to die in that fight. Oh, shoot. We're going to take a chance and hope there's repairs over here. Nope, there's a sun over here. There is a sun here. Oh, crap. We're going to die. We only have 5 HP left. Oh, they're attacking the cockpit. Oh, damn it. Uh, you help, you help. There you go. Go ahead and just shoot their weapons again. Disable, hack and disable their shields. Oh god, we can't take much more. We cannot take much more hits. And our guy's got to get cloned right now. If we take three hits, we're done. If we take one missile hit, we're dead. Automatically dead. Alright, return to your station guy. Come on. There's the flare! Oh, damn it! They've invaded! Oh, they're taking out our systems! Oh, they'll suffocate if they if they don't. That doesn't matter on us. Still fight them off, though. Oh my god, we're so close to dead here. Oh my god, one more damage and we're done! Put out that damn fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. If he disables the oxygen tank, we die! Oh, crap. Don't let him do that. Uh, also, don't die. He died. Crud, he died. Okay, everyone, everyone just go in there, alright? Solar flare! We're gonna die to a solar flare! Oh no, we're not dead yet. No, now we are! Ah! Well, there goes uh, that ship. Ugh. Well, we could have done better there. We could have done better. There's the, the Lanius cruiser, and it shows you your scores with everything. Who's your best crewmen have been, your best sessions, your final score. Your session stats and then your session records and stuff like that. And yeah, we did okay there. And we can look at our other ships. You can see how well we did with the Kestrel. 
and the Kestrel B, and let's see here. And then the NG Cruiser, just different ships. You can see how you did with all these different ships in the game. That's what it is right there. And then there's the B version. There you go. So that's cool. Um, balls. Just balls. We've been in with the Taurus twice. <laughs> Called the Bar Cube. Um, achievements here. These are different achievements you can have in the game. I beat, I won by making everyone suffocate on the other team. And just stuff like that. So, um, that is FTL. You hear the music. It's really good music. And that is FTL. And, yeah. I don't think I showed off the game as best as I could. But this is just such a fun game. There's plenty of things to discover for you who already own the game. And if you don't own the game, it's still something to consider. It's a very fun game. Very interesting. If you're still on the fence, you can always check out the old FTL videos. And check that out and see how much fun I had with that. And it's just, it's just fun. This is a very fun game. I am so happy they upgraded this game and they didn't charge for it. It's free upgrade. I would pay for this upgrade. It's really nice, the stuff they've added. It's really cool. New weapons, new ships. Just so nice. It's just great. And thank you to the creators of FTL Sun's subset games for doing that. Very much, thank you very much. And that is the game. I had fun, hope you had fun watching. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time.